The most energetic entertainer, Manny Supreme, here with Young Money's own. Jersey P the gift. How you feeling, man? I'm chilling, man. He's in, you in the building, you in the city. First off, yeah. the drip, we got to admire Feel me, just something like you know, Sometimes something me and like. we, so we talk about it. A couple people come through here, they ain't got it on. You got it on, player. Feel me, just you some chill, it's just something chill. How you feeling, man, for all your fans? we I mean, we really going to break it down, the history of Drizzy P. Where you from? How'd you get started with the rap? Right. I, I feel blessed, man, but I tell you what, I, I, I'm from Delaware County, mm -hmm. about 20 minutes outside of the city, Philadelphia. The county boys is what yeah. they say. Well, then county boys yep. checking in. County boys, yep. Um, I started in the basement. You know, we, we had um, my friend, he had got some music equipment for Christmas one year. Yeah. It was like the cheapest equipment you could possibly buy, but mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? We just wanted to play with it because we always love music. Yeah. So we had... Um, this this uh software called Mixcraft, mm -hmm. but we didn't actually buy it, so we had to we had the free trial. So every time in the middle of recording, we get an ad pop yeah, up. Yeah, pop up. Talk, why you talk about, to talk about your free trial yeah. over about a full version and shit. But yeah, Begging it out. Yeah, real shit. That's hard. Yep. So being from Philly, like, what are some inspirations musically growing up? Since you say you always had that musical incline spirit, what was right. some of Drizzy P's early artists that you was listening to? Well, my mom, she 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 exposed me to a lot, and like I just been around a lot of different genres of music. Like my grandfather, he exposed me to like the rock and alternative side. My mom introduced me to like R and B and like rap, like people like Wayne and you know Nelly and Fifty Cent, like people like that really inspired me. So being from Philly, like growing up was how big was like hearing Wayne and Nelly and 50 Cent was like, ah oh, man, it's like, you know, the Drake factor now, yeah. obviously, but like, just talk about it. Just growing up in Philly, how was like, you know, the street culture with the fashion, with everything, because they say, you know, in Philly, that's a different type of swag to be up there, man. Right. Well, where I'm from in the county, it ain't really, it's it's not really like that, to to be real. It's, mm -hmm. it's, it's a whole different vibe than the actual city of yeah. Philadelphia. Like, where I'm from, it's calm, there ain't too much going on, and there's not really like a fashion thing going yeah. on there. It's kind of like, it's more just so like kids playing sports. That's yeah. really what it yeah, is. They, and I ain't gonna lie, shout out my dog J Mill checking in here too. I, you could tell a Hooper from up north and a Hooper from Atlanta, for real, for right. real. Cause like Hoopers from Atlanta, you know, they gonna show up like they fought. I mean, they <laughs> got the whole drip on and when they pick up the ball, it's like rec league, second grade basketball. Right. You know what I'm saying? So right. with traveling, being from Philly, you know, how how much different is it? Cause you know, of course, you're hearing the A. When you go to these different cities and you see people rocking with your music, like how like what does that feel? Like? It's a blessing, cause I mean, there was a point where I felt like my music wouldn't make it out of the basement. Mm -hmm. So to be able to like, for, for to be able to see and like experience these different places just off of music is yeah. like. It's a blessing for real, cause I never even thought I'd jump on an airplane yeah, for real. You know what I'm saying? To go rock out a show. Yeah, exactly. So talk about linking up with Young Money, man. I mean, that's a big deal. Yeah, you, yeah, yeah. People just don't wake up and be able to have Wayne in the context, <laughs> man. You know what I'm saying? So real talk sick. about how that collaboration came about. Man, so we met Mac. I say like November 2020. We met him. We flew out Miami. Met him in a basketball gym, and you know we was chopping it up a little bit. We was playing ball a little bit. He beat my manager. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He, he whooped him a little bit. I know he's going to hate me for saying that, but he whooped him. Yeah. You feel me? <laughs> but um, yeah, we met him there. And then he um, he set up a studio session at the Hit Factory in Miami and played him some of my songs. He fucked with it, but it wasn't until like, I'm trying to think, I think it was like April 2021, my manager had got a text in. And it was Mac, he was saying like, if you can make it out here in like, I think it was like a two day notice. Yeah. He was like, I want to introduce him to Wayne. And from then on, like, I got introduced to him. And I remember the first night working with him, we was actually supposed to leave Miami. We was on the way to the hotel and yeah. shit, like to go get our bags to hit the airport. Yeah. And they, they hit us. They was like, yo, Wayne wants you to come to his studio, record with him. We recorded all night. Crazy. Yeah, like till like 12 in the session. afternoon the next day. like. So it's growing crazy. up, I mean, everybody from all the dedications to the Carters, like from from linking up with Wayne and being in the studio, I mean, I know some nerves had to be, you know, wrecking. Of course, you drink your pee, but it's just, it's don't nah, you? Nah, yeah, so, I say the first time I recorded with him, yeah. I was definitely like, damn, like, it ain't feel real for yeah. real. Like, I was looking at this shit like, 
it's just like it felt like I was in like it really felt like a simulation. Yeah, you had like, to drink some more, pinch yourself a couple yeah, times. Like, is this me? Are we and here right I now? I don't think it really like hit me like. It, I feel like it still fully hasn't hit me. Yeah. But like the first time I recorded with him, I was like, damn, this shit is crazy. Yeah. But like, you know, I had to thug it out. You feel me? <laughs> in the moment. <laughs> yeah. And so like, you know, being in the studio, they say Wayne is just such a great freelancer and thinker. And of course, his wordplay is out of this world. When he was punching in in the studio and laying down his bars, was he <laughs> was he freestyling? Was he, did he so, have something ready? So they had, um, he had, we had went through a couple beats before we started recording. Mm. And what he had did, he was doing something. So in his studio, it's a skate park as well. Mm. And um, while while I was coming up with what I was doing, he was down he was down at the skate park skating around. He was shooting like a little vid. Mm -hmm. And um, they had the beat looping for him through the speakers. Mm. I remember I had walked down to go to the bathroom, and he was in the corner, just like in his zone, just like everybody everybody's just sitting sitting around at the skate park, and he just yeah. over in the corner, just Locked coming up in. with it. Then he I told him I was done, so he come up. He listened to it, go in the booth. He laid that down in like one take, probably two takes, the whole thing. Just being around greatness like that, how has that enhanced your your music and you as an artist? Because, you know, a lot of times we talk about it just from performances. You can see it on your Instagram. You have a you have a great connection right. with the crowd, you know. Yeah. Just explain how, you know, with being with Young Money, how that's helped you and, and your personal brand as an artist. It, it, it exposed me to a lot of different things, so it grew, like, my creative ability. And with Wayne, like, again, like, when recording with him, like, he'll give me beats, like, that he knows I wouldn't normally pick just to, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, make me go a different angle than mm -hmm. I normally outside wouldn't. Zone, yeah, exactly, yeah. outside my comfort zone. So it, it helped me a lot, not even just, like, on the musical side, just life in general, yeah. you know what I'm saying? But... Yeah, it's, 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 it's a blessing. Now, that's it, what it that's me on the topic of it. Me and we still do it all the time. Top three artists, dead or alive. <sighs> Drizzy P's top three. That's a hard one, man. That's a hard one. I'm going to help you I, out. I'm I think a, I got mine. We still let me know because I think it's Shane since the last time. It's Outkast, okay. number one, even though it's a group that's still like, I mean, uh, Jay-Z and Kanye. I that's think I stuck one. with mine. I think I stuck with mine. I think, because this is just, they gonna, I feel like they, I don't know if they gonna kill me or not, but this is who I grew up listening to. Yeah, this to. your so personal I, list. This your me? personal list. But definitely Wayne, because uh -huh. that, that's who I really listen to. Hey, if, it was, if, if I had five, Wayne would be my boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kanye. For sure. Damn, damn. I, grew, I listened to a lot of 50 Cent growing up, so I got to put him up. 50 there. hard now. Sure. So people was putting me down like there's this one song. Uh, well, I think Cameron sang it. The Curtis song. You heard yeah, it, I know that what one? you're talking about. They was jamming that yesterday. That mm -hmm. song was hilarious. So for all your fans that's expecting New Drizzy P with music, what can they be expecting coming from you? In the future? A whole lot. A whole lot. We getting ready to drop a few singles. We're just going to get the videos right, make sure everything perfect. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Album in the future. Fire. You, you got any? You got any nicknames? Any teasers yet for the album? Nah, not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. But it's coming soon. Very now. soon. Mm -hmm. So before we get out of here, some more dream collaborations. Who Drizzy P? I know. With, I mean, with you being with Wayne, I mean the list can only right. be but so much bigger after right. that. Who right. top three dream collaborations? I gotta say Drake. Yeah, yeah. That's another one I grew up listening yeah, to. Yeah, yeah. I gotta say. I gotta say, Boogie, I grew up listening to him. Yeah, yeah, he inspired sure, a lot. Sure. And, damn, that's hard. The third spot be the killer every There's time. There's so many. The I'm just trying. I'm the... trying to pick the right one. Just at a time. If you, if we was a, like you in the studio session. As soon as you leave here, just top three off the dome. She so said, Drizzy. Boogie. I say Drake, Boogie, mm -hmm. and damn. I'ma just say, I'ma just say Fifty, cause that's he's, 50. he's in my top three. Fifty, Fifty, I'ma still, say 50. I think 50 still putting out music. Yeah. I think a Fifty Cent Drizzy P. Even to just work with him on a, yeah. on, a, on a record would be hard. That'd be insane. Yeah. That'd be insane, man. So before we get out of here, any shout outs? Man, shout out my team. Above yeah. nothing, shout out the whole Young Money. We about to take over. Shout out everybody back home in the eight. It's all love, man. Just like that. 